the famous green envelope. You know what that means? It can only mean one thing. Decadent vapour. So, let's roll the intro. See you on the juice review. So guys, the lovely people over there at Ted Decadent Vapor, Simon, got in touch with me and emailed me to uh, ask if I'd be interested in uh, doing a review for some of their gear and checking their gear out. Obviously, yes. Uh, he did tell me that one of his customers recommended me and that customer happened to be uh, a subscriber of mine and I can class as a friend, Lee McLaughlin. So thank you very much, Lee. And let's have a quick look what we've got in there. So first two up. What have we got? We've got a tobacco, uh, 12 milligram one uh, from Decadent Vapor. So we'll put that down because I'm going to put that in one of these pods. And we also got this uh, Gina, Gina, <laughs> um, and that's a Berry Crush. So I'm going to put that in a pod as well. And let's have a look what else they sent me. They sent me. Oh, lemon puff, uh, short fill, and with that they did send me the uh, the dilutant and the nicotine to put in there. So I'm very very pleased about that. Oops, and I'll uh, I'll pop that down on there. And what else? We got blue barb. Oh yes. Yeah. So I'm really really pleased with the selection that they, they sent me uh, over to try and review. So I'm gonna pop this back down. The famous green envelope. And uh, tell you what I'll do, guys, while I'm here uh, on this part of it, before we get on to the review itself, I'll fill a pod up. So let's take the tobacco one, give it a good shake. And I'll peel the top of that off. Yes. And we'll get this tobacco one in there, because as you know, I love my tobaccos. And then um, decadent vapour tobacco is supposed to be really good, so I'm looking, really looking forward to it. Really, really looking forward to it, because I've never had any of theirs. I've always meant to go on, onto the site and, and get some, but... Uh, I've never actually done that, just like this. Um, so let's give this a fillet and we can leave this standing for a bit. So let's get it up into the light so we can see. Oh, and it's just flew out the top of that as if the airway is blocked. That's not good, is it? <laughs> now these, these are about 60 40, I think they're. they're, they're E liquids. Let's try that again. Let's get some more in there. I'm sorry, you haven't see that like that. Uh, I think that was my fault to tell you the truth. It was the way I did it. And I still can't see how much I've got in there. Let's close it up and have a look. Tell you the truth, guys. I think that's full. So we'll, uh, we'll just pop that down, and I'll try and get the juice off my hands. Wasted juice. Wasted juice. Um, no, it actually looks like it's come out the top of the pod on that. I hope I haven't got a faulty pod. We'll have a look anyway. Let's get the next one done. If we can get the juice off my hands, I'm covered in juice now. Let's get the next one open. Let's get some more tissue. I am absolutely covered. I think I've got a faulty pod because that looks like it's split at the top. I hope not, but it looks that way. That's why it's not going to plan, has it? Let's get this one open. Oh my god, I am still struggling with these and with juice. It's everywhere. I think it's actually run out of the pod. To tell you the truth, I'm going to have to have a look at that. Anyway, while we're at it, let's get this one. Let's get this one sorted. Let's get this one filled up. This Betty Crush one. It really, really upset me that pod, I think. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get this in and have a look. Right. That's going in. Oh, no, that was going in really easy, the other one. I think I've got a split pod, guys. That's in, that's filled. I'll have to get one of my other pods out. If that's the case, let's bang that on there and we'll leave them for a few minutes. I'll wipe my hands off and I'll see you in a few minutes. 
Hey <laughs> guys, we're back. So, should we? Uh, should we get on with it? And I'll tell you what we'll do first of all. We'll do the short fills first, and we'll uh, we'll start off with the uh, lemon puff. Lemon puff, yes, looks really good. Looks really good. Get the top open. Now I have already nicked these, as I said, and, and put the dilutant in. So uh, we'll give it a shake up. Shall we go on? Now these are fifty mil short fills, and there's room for the dilutant and for the uh, the nicotine in there and uh, it's an 18 milligram nicotine shot you get so it should come out about three milligram so uh, should we undo it and have a smell there we go oh, oh, oh. oh man that smells so good let's give it a knuckle test day eh? mmm Mm, tastes good. Right, so I'm on the usual. I'm on the other set with the Wasp Nano uh, round wire building coming out at 0.35 and cotton bacon prime. So let's wet the wicks. Let's get them wet. Let's get it all wet. As they say. Juiced up. Come on. Um, batteries in these are VTC 5s. Or VCT 5s. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean, it's only ones. <laughs> I've got one of them days today. Should we give it a fire? Ooh, smells nice. Smells nice. Let's get this on there. Now, most of their juices come out about uh, 60 40. Um, so, I'm reckoning the short fills are going to be around about that as well. Let's take it for the two, eh, guys? Here we go. Looking forward to these. Mm. Oh, yeah. wow! Uh, not all the sweet. The lemons there, and you can taste the puff. You know, like lemon puffs, the cream. And it really is like that. That's really, really nice. The lemon's really nice as well. That doesn't seem an overly sweet vape. A bit of sweetness on my lips with that lemon. It's not a sour lemon either. It's a nice, the nice creamy lemon that you actually get in a, a, a lemon puff. Oh yeah, I'm just going to put a bit more of that on. As you can tell, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's nice. Oh, it's en enjoyable. Oh yeah, it, it really is a real nice lemon. And it's alright through the vape, it's it, you're getting the lemon and, and the taste of the uh, the pastry, the puff um, on it. And it's almost all the way, right the way through the vape. Not over sweet at all. That is absolutely gorgeous. And before I knock that off with my knee, I'm going to move on to the next one. That is nice. That is really nice. Let's be sitting over here for a bit. So should we get on with the next one? Blue barb. Blueberry rhubarb. Ooh, yes. And as I say, I've already nicked these up and put the dilutant in. And bang the box over there, give it a shake. Give it a shake, yeah. Right, and here we go. Let's get that, take that off. Let's give it a Oh, that smells like it's to die for. It really does. Let's give it a knuckle test. It's sweet. Sweet blueberry. With the rhubarb right at the back of it. And there's quite strong flavours in there. 
quite strong. So as before, the Odyssey, the Wasp Nano, uh, Roundwire Build, Ganful, uh, .35 and Cotton Bacon Prime. Let's wet the wicks. Let's give it a fire. Smells nice. Oh yes. Oh yes. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get the top cap on. Let's take it for the suit, guys. Here we go. Right, again, not over sweetened. The rhubarb in it is absolutely stunning. Number two. All right, what I'm getting, I'm getting that mix of the rhubarb and, and the blue blueberry uh, in on the inhale, and then prevalently on the, or prevalent on the exhale is the rhubarb not sweet but very very tasteful that's quite a good combination it's like a fresh rhubarb it's not been sweetened you know when you're making rhubarb and you chuck a load of sugar in there um it's definitely not that it's the rhubarb taste without the the sweetener in there it really is and you get a full taste of rhubarb i used to love growing rhubarb when i had a garden not that it's hard to grow <laughs> That is a real nice rhubarb. I'd say the rhubarb in this is, is the prevalent flavour um, throughout the vape with that insert of the uh, blueberry. It's really nice. And because it's not sweet, it's got that little bit of a, a soury note in it. And it's, it's, I'm going to chuck a bit more on because I'm getting a bit of uh, white cotton there. A bit too white. Let's get some more in there. Here we go, guys, again. Now, if you don't like overly sweet vapes, this is going to be perfect for you both of these because they're not over sweetened at all. that's nice that's nice I like that I really do that's really really nice I'm gonna uh, pop that down put the top back on and move it over there for a second and should we get onto the pod ones or the ones I've used in pod so first of all let's take it off charge there we go and we'll start with the uh, Gina the Gina the, the Gina <laughs> Uh, 60 40 and it's a berry crush in it uh, now the price for, for the others um, the the uh, blue blue barb and the lemon puff uh, recommended retail price is about 15.99 but actually on site at the moment for 7.98 which I didn't think was too bad um, now on the these ones the genie and the DV um, tobacco they come in 0, 3, 6, 12 and 18 milligram um, one 10 mil is about £4.95 but you can get packs of 5 and 10 on site which is not bad and the 60 40 uh, 60 BG 40 PG the ones I've got uh, at the moment are one well they're a 12 milligram 12, 12, 
12 milligram so should we go for it see what this one's like this uh, berry crush mm. again not over sweet and it's just a, a mixed berry crush I think there's a, a raspberry in there. There's nothing really coming out and, and smacking me in the face and saying, look, I'm in here. The, 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 it's just a berry crush. It's mixed berries. Maybe blueberry, raspberry. I'm not getting a strawberry in there. It's quite pleasant. It's uh, not sweet. So uh, that's not for that one because uh, it's just a mixed berry and it's hard to pick out different notes from it. So now the one I had trouble with, and yes, it did, it's had a split in, the, in it. So I'm now on my last pod uh, for the mini fit. And we've got the tobacco, so uh, let's give that a try, eh? And again, the tobacco comes in 0, 3, 6, 12 and 18 milligrams and with a choice of 110 mil or 5 or 10 uh, in the pack. So uh, let's have a look what this is. Now they do say this is, a, a, I've got a woody note and it's rich and sweet with a hint of treacle. So mm, let's, uh, let's have a try. See how we go on. Hmm, it reminds me of something. Now, I wouldn't say it was sweet. There is a woody note there and there is a treacle note there. But it reminds me of like Old Alburn. <laughs> For some reason that's what it reminds me of. In fact it reminds me of some of the, some of the pipe tobaccos as well. Yeah, it's definitely a, an old old burny taste to me um, for hand rolling cigarettes. To me, it's not sweet enough, even though it says it's sweet. That is old old burn, huh? Bloody positive that's an old old burn taste. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I'm not getting the sweetness from it though. There's definitely a little bit of wood, a woody type uh, taste to it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's uh, worth a try. And uh, that's it, guys. That's that's it for for this juice review from uh, Decadent Vapor. And uh, I do thank Simon very much for sending these in to me um, for me to try. And uh, I've put this little bit of a review out. And uh, I thank you to Lee for actually putting me forward to um, Decadent Vapor. That was very kind of him. Anyway, guys, if you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming to the channel. Uh, it's much appreciated. My existing subscribers, you're the best, and as Lee's proved it, you know, you are the best. Thank you very much. 
Uh, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you know when I upload it. And that's it guys. I've had four quite pleasant, quite pleasant flavours to go through and I've enjoyed every one of them. And not over sweet, which makes a change just lately. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's it for the review. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.